There are seven principal causes of spiritual blindness. Top on the list is toxic emotions, bitterness, envy, strife, anger. Never believe anything you are receiving when you are bitter. When you are hot, is Satan. Negative emotions are like goggles. They distort perception. Distort reality. Distort truth. You know when people hear God is telling them to break away, start a new church, it's always when they are hot, when they are correct. Never believe anything, even if it's an angel that appears. When you are bitter, never believe it. Negative emotions. Depression. Look at anger, anger. Distorts reality. The anger of a man does not work the righteousness of God. It's with joy that we draw water out of the wells of salvation. Until you get back to positive emotion, like joy, like love, like peace, like all of those words. Don't believe what you are hearing. The Satan talks. You have tuned to channel Satan. When you turn back to love channel, you turn back to channel G-O-D, God. The God channel is a love channel. The God channel is mercy channel. The God channel is forgiveness channel. The God channel is joy channel. The God channel is peace channel. When you are in conflict, you are quarreling at home, don't believe that thing you are receiving. Satan, that's when people fall into gross deception. Number two, one of the greatest spiritual blinders is pride. Pride, blind, that's why Lucifer can never find his way again. No proud man finds his way till the day he humbles himself. He can be in the presence of the greatest salmon, he won't get anything. Salmon does not help a proud man till he first addresses his pride. One of the greatest mysteries about the opening of eyes is repentance. One of the things repentance does is that after he has done his work, the first thing that is lifted from you is the, the, the thing, the covering as that ties your eyes. People who, will, who reject repentance reject their deliverance. I hear pastors today talking against repentance. I'm sorry for them. Their sickness will not have cure. Number three, greed. Everyone say greed. These are the things Satan uses to tie men. Ten years in the faith, he hasn't made progress. Let me show you how blinding greed is. How powerful. The corrupting influence of greed. That's why Judas, Judas heard from the greatest preacher that there is, Jesus himself. Jesus was, one of you will betray me. Everybody will say, is he I, is he I? Greed, greed. She has gone out and made it. He also joined and said, is he I? Jesus even did something. He said, when I take this sub, the whosoever I give it to, he was telling John, that's the person. And he collected, gave to Judas. That's the right time to stop. This man has gotten word of knowledge of what I'm doing. Greed. No, they have not finished paying me my balance. Jesus said, woe to that man by whom the son of man will be betrayed. That's the right time to stop. Not Greed. So, you see, there is something called the deceitfulness of riches. When Jesus was talking about the parable of the sower, the word is sown, it did not produce any result in certain people's life because of this. The God of career, the God of breakthrough, the God of materialism, the God of greed. Mammon will not allow them to make progress. He said the deceitfulness of riches crippled the word it did not produce. One of the greatest blinding forces there is, is immorality. If you don't know what destroys Samson, he went for that woman of Timnat, a Philistine. That was the right time. After the experience he had, they almost killed him. But the anointing came to his rescue. He escaped. Killed the Philistine. He went for a harlot. That night, they were left the room where he was sleeping with the harlot. To capture him alive. The anointing broke through again and he passed. And the more the anointing worked, even in the midst of immorality, he long got more deceived. 
finally he went for Delilah. And you know the Bible is edited. We don't know how many women. It might not just be this thing. When Delilah said, show me where your strength is. That's the warning this woman came here. This is time to kick her out. Because he told her a lie and she went and brought the lords of the Philistines and they surrounded him to take him. The power of God came upon him and he escaped. He killed them. That is a time. No, 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 no. Immorality. Immorality that took the wisest man that ever lived, Solomon, and turned him to an idol worshiper. A man that God appeared to two times. What, you know, if you see God, that should have been it. Immorality removed Solomon's two eyes that he can't see anything. And there is even a type of immorality. That one does not just remove your eyes. It, it turns you, it puts you in chain and turns you into a slave and hand you over to the kingdom of darkness. It's called sexual perversions. Bible dedicated at least two chapters to that. Abominable sexual behaviors. No amount of preaching can help them until he addresses that problem. So you see what is the, the decay of modern church that is just hyping people up, motivating them. You will break through. You will do this when we are not able to deal with real issues in the lives of people. Churches that are important when it comes to the truth. The armor, the sword of the spirit is now dull. It can't cut anything.